In Jewish tradition, the key essence of what we are here to do is embodied in the word achrayut. It's a Hebrew word which means responsibility. And the root of achrayut is the word acher, which means somebody else. And that is because the ultimate responsibility we have here on earth is the extent to which we must care and plan for the future of others. That is why faith leaders must be seen as being right at the heart of the global campaign to tackle climate change. We see our overall responsibility as existing within concentric circles. In the first instance, I must be responsible to myself and those around me. Secondly, to my community, the people I know. And then thirdly, beyond that, those I will never meet and come across, but they're part of our common family on earth. We have a responsibility to one and all, and not just for now, but for all time. Here in the UK, we have some outstanding examples of a Jewish religious community tackling climate change. Eco-Judaism is a wonderful umbrella organization through which our Jewish community has been continuously educated about the challenges and through which we have transformed dreams and aspirations into meaningful and decisive action. In the United Synagogue, which is the largest Jewish religious organization in Europe, we have been highly successful through our Dorot program. Dorot literally means generations, and that's because we're not just looking after the here and now, we have a responsibility for all time. We have engaged in a widespread educational program. It is now common for communities not to use disposables. Also, we have engaged in rewilding projects in the lands that we own, and also we have purchased and are planting numerous trees. Looking to the future, I believe that we have a responsibility now to take on the more difficult, hidden elements of tackling climate change. It's relatively easy to do this item here and that there, but to make real change, we need to tackle the real substantial issues. And also we must guarantee that we cannot allow tackling climate change to slip to the back burner. It must be at the forefront of people's consciousness. And in order to ensure that, we have to guarantee that there will be constant education. Faith leaders, indeed all leaders, have that responsibility to keep tackling climate change as a top priority for our world. We cannot allow this to be an issue that people write about and talk about just at COP time. It must be part and parcel of our awareness and our decisive action on each and every day of every year.